Because of the, the connection to the growth of the electronics industry um, and this Moore's Law bottleneck that uh, everybody is talking about these days, our area of integrating optics into on-chip uh, uh, functionality is is very hot and uh, as a result we have a lot of submissions um, and there's been a lot of progress in recent years uh, going from uh, s uh, s small-scale demonstrations of uh, simple one-off type of structures to fully functional devices that actually have uh, a, fu a functionality that can be integrated with the on-chip electronics um, and we're seeing more and more uh, papers in, in that area that, that have high level uh, functions that, that are controlled by the electronics that are also on the chip. One of the, the uh, areas related to the uh, integration of optics on the chip that's, uh, that seems to be uh, gaining momentum this year is uh, this idea of modulating uh, an optical signal on the chip and controlling that modulation with the um, electronics, the CMOS circuitry that's already on the chip. The area that's, uh, that's, that we're seeing growth in is uh, this, um, the development of um, optical networks on the chip which take over some of the signal transmission um, from the old-fashioned contacts uh, which all chips have nowadays uh, and, and propagate those signals optically instead. And one of the main uh, components of, of these uh, networks are, is modulators and um, in this year we've received a lot of uh, uh, high-quality uh, papers which describe um, modulator, Moxander modulator specifically, which are based on uh, photonic crystal waveguides where um, one can essentially slow down the propagation of light so that uh, even though silicon, for example, has a very low electro-optic coefficient, uh, by slowing down the propagation of light, one can build up an effective electro-optic coefficient which is then uh, useful in such devices. One of the other areas that's uh, um, exciting this year is the demonstration of, of nanolasers. Um, there are a number of groups uh, uh, including at uh, UC San Diego and, and Cornell and other places um, that have demonstrated um, elect electrically pumped lasers with extremely small volumes and some of them are even uh, directly integrated with uh, a, uh, a CMOS circuit. Now they're not yet controlled by that CMOS circuit, but they've demonstrated that they can at least uh, grow them uh, in situ and uh, they will work and, they, and the, the circuitry will also work. These new structures that are being demonstrated this year would fill a, a void essentially in the integration of of uh, photonics on chip, uh, having the source directly on the chip. It looks like uh, that there are uh, several nice papers that show that um, we're, we're almost there. So, wow. so that's, that's a very interesting um, area that, uh, that, that looks very promising this year. Another area that, that's also gaining momentum is the area of optomechanics um, with uh, a big effort at Caltech uh, particularly um, to uh, integrate uh, uh, very small uh, uh, nano levers um, and into uh, an, an optical or a photonic circuit which uh, um, can then interact with the, uh, the photonic uh, circuit and uh, the use for that uh, right now it's, it's a fundamental uh, I think it's mostly a, a, a fundamental development. Um, it's in a sense analogous to the old-fashioned acoustic optic modulator, so in a sense it's, it's bringing some of those ideas onto something that can be integrated on a chip. Um, whether this will find applications in, in uh, networks or uh, sensors, it's probably too soon 
to tell, but the, uh, these, these structures that are being uh, fabricated and demonstrated have, uh, uh, are, are wonderful test beds for fundamental ideas and uh, you know, both theoretically and experimentally they, they are just uh, fantastic, uh, very interesting uh, um, things to, to look at this year.